Hello and welcome back to episode 28 of my playthrough of Pathfinder Kingmaker in an informative style. And hopefully the last video, uh, Fighting the Bogger Champion, will have demonstrated that there is far more to this game than just being able to take hits. You know, it's very difficult or it's you require a very precise structure to be able to um, create a character who can, who can sit there and trade blows with that Bogard champion at this level, it can be done, but you've really, really got to commit to it. And I kind of think that, <laughs> that you can commit to that, or you can cast, you know, a couple of spells and trivialize the whole thing. I mean, that wasn't, that wasn't fancy spells. That was web and hideous laughter. And just the whole thing has become um, um, utterly trivialized. So, you know, AC is important, but, you know, it's part of an enormous package of strategy and tactics which you can use to defeat these these encounters. Rather than just thinking you need to send the one person with the high AC up front all the time, and then everyone else, you know, just hides behind them. You know, I do that a lot for, for trash, but for the, for the tougher encounters, you know, there's no need. You can you can play around with them a bit more. You can use some fancy stuff, even if that fancy stuff is just web <laughs> and entanglement. Mm, anyway, in this episode, I'm going to do a little bit of buying and selling, or a little bit of selling, I should say, because we have got a huge amount of junk. So, let's see. Um... First of all, we've picked up all of this, and we could sell it, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute some of this to some people who don't have some of this stuff. And that's not because they're really going to get a lot out of an extra plus one to, to AC when their AC is low. Uh, but, you know, if you sell it, it's gone. If we hang on to it, we can always um, um, sell it later. It's not... Uh, it's not gone forever if um, if it's if it's just put in in somebody's um, somebody's uh, if it's slotted in of course we won't have the money for it now but should I need to liquidate some um, some cash we can always uh, pinch some of this stuff back from party members who I'm not particularly um, using very much and sell it sell it then you know key thing once something's sold, you know, it's gone for good unless you want to pay a load more money to buy it back. You'll also notice uh, we've got some new um, some new merchants, scrolls and weapons. But we're just going to sell all our trash there. Not much. But we're also going to flog the Nunchaku, the Great Club plus, um, plus two there. And we'll give Jaythal that scythe plus one. We will give Jaythal that scythe plus one. And uh, sell that as well. So 17,000, that's not bad. You, know, you you might have seen in a previous video that our BP is running quite low. So I think unsurprisingly, I'm just going to drop most of this into buying build points. That's you know just the way of it. You know, we could buy lots of fancy gear, but hopefully, if you've watched some of my gameplay videos of my fights, I'm not, you know, enormously gear dependent. I you know, we set up camp. a small bonus here and there isn't going to um, uh, make a critical difference at okay. this stage. So let's just visit our stash here. I'm going to pinch that back. Uh, we're going to drop off the bombardier's vest, and we're going to drop off the We actually, um, hmm, yeah, well, I just got to remember to pick them back up again later. We'll hang on to that, but we'll leave that there. If I forget it, I forget it. Okay, and the, the flail, we're just going to give Harem, oop, just going to give Harem that. I'll just shove that mace in there so I don't need to revisit the um, cellars. And you'll notice our barony, Shrike Hills, 
it's got a little exclamation mark, so obviously there's something for us to do. And I don't believe it's particularly Adventures can wait. <laughs> exciting. <laughs> We've picked up uh, merchants, plus two to economy. That's really good. See, our economy is now at 18, so we are approaching being able to um, rank that up as well. Our two problems haven't expired, and we've got nothing else going on. Um, we're not going to be doing any of these for reasons I discussed due to timing. Um, but what we are going to do is... Whoops. Buy a load more build points. There we go, ploughing almost all our cash, or, you know, more than half our cash into billboards. And, you know, 300, I feel a lot more happy about having that in the bank, rather than uh, being down, you know, close to, um, you know, below 200, which is, you know, rather, rather painful in my opinion. Now, everybody wants to sleep, so we're going to... Um, we're just going to rest up. You can rest anywhere in your capital and it will transport you back to your bedroom. That's nice. <laughs> Again, something people aren't uh, often aren't familiar with. It hasn't been a day to tick over into that next um, to have see whether Ragonga has succeeded with his problem. So, what we're going to do because we're we're actually approaching a point where we our our um you know have some time to well we've got time to kill at the moment anyway but we're approaching a point where you know there's nothing we can really fit in and we've got a few days before the next event that bold hilltop event here in the journal before ancient curse starts kicking in so like i said we're waiting for that to get down to um to um 20 days so instead we're going to come down here to bridge over the gudrun river and there's going to be some good stuff here. Claim that. Precious 15 BP. Ugh. We're probably not going to be able to avoid this. This could be it really unlucky to get an encounter like this for just this little trip. Because, of course, you notice it was like a big dragon. And big dragons mean you're in the... Inspiration. Yeah, lots of wolves. Okay, wargs, I should say. Okay, we're going to take this really careful. Right. Okay. See how many we've got. Four. Hmm. It's gonna hit hard. Let us strike as one. Harem close in. See, I don't like wasting spells on random encounters. Actually, cancel that. We don't need it. Right. Amiri in Octavia. Harem. Attack. Take this some pot shots. Serves you right. Um, actually. Demoralize. Demoralize. We all good. Ah, okay. Another one coming in. You offend me. Ah that. Right, we're screwed. Off-screen ambush, or they were over here or something. How are we going to deal with this? Cat. Go. We'll 
eat the attack of opportunity. What a to reposition. Waste. Gonna go there. We're gonna get. We're gonna let Lindsay die. Oop. We're gonna eat attack of opportunity again. We're gonna try and demoralize. Ah, that hurts. Become as dust. Lindsay, it's all right. <laughs> Basically, we don't want her to do anything, apart from apart from sit there. Okay. Don't hold back. Repent. Two more coming in. Has our cat's health? Okay. <laughs> Lindsay, you kind of want to stay still and let them kill you. <laughs> okay. Demoralize. Time is over. Here they come. Yeah. Your life ebbs low. This is where I step in. This will hold. They go down. Okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. A lot of wargs, but if we just have a little look. This is only a level 4 creature, low AC, low HP, we've managed, but that was, I did think that might have been, you know, maybe not a wipe, but things going down, I'm a very cautious player, <laughs> so I hate random ambushes, just with a passion. I like fixed encounters that are, you know, predictable and exactly where I want them to be. And you'll notice every time I get a random uh, encounter, I try and skip it. Because just, you know, who knows what you can get. In this area that we're venturing into, this area just to the east, the random ambushes you get. See that enormous dragon compared to just like, you know, trolls and, you know, the little figures. They are lethal. And to, to, for the uh, KC quest, we want to be up here, Sorrow Flow. And so we need to pass through some, some quite unpleasant stuff. And you always seem to, I mean, I'm not going to say always, because you might be able to do it without. You always seem to get a big dragon ambush when you cross over the river. And, you know, I've wiped there before. Um, I've, I've had um, um, no reload runs end at that point, because I foolishly thought I could go get her. And met with, you know, five greater earth elementals or ferocious wargs or just, you know, stuff that you're really alpha wolves in a big pack. You just, you know, your, your ability to deal with ambushes at this level is not enormous. But we did it. We need some healing. Rotus awaits us. Rotus awaits us. Um, wow. I think we can get by without a uh, true strike. So, we're going to get here our first of a new set. These melted shards of a ring. There's a couple of these on this map. We want to grab them both. And you can see it's, it's a pretty big map. There's quite a lot going on here. And there's some quite difficult enemies. Friendship lasts forever. So, and what does that mean? That means don't go anywhere without a modest suite of buffs. Don't cast that. So that's our long-term ones. The problem is it's just quite tricky to get through the whole map without, you know, needing a refresh of buffs. And I'm trying to remember where the various things are here. Bears. I don't like bears. I am yours to command. No time for idling. Not in real life. Bears are fine if, you know, quite large. In this game, they're um, quite dangerous. 
and Lindsay I'm was called for. Ready. And Lindsay was called for. I wrote it for. like I saw it. Here. The world is full of wonder. Patience. Adventures are exciting. All right. Since the level one spells, not that fussed about having to refresh, making people big. And there we go. See what you can do, kitty cat. Does it matter? You can crit twice in a row. I'll take that. Exploding a bear into fine mist. Ferocious wolves. I'll share my path. And then our leader charged That's quite a lot of them. So we're actually gonna not send these two up, but Arkansora active now. Once they wrap around, we can go in. And I guess you lot can do something too, rather than leaving everything. Somebody get hit? Valerie, don't get hit. Alright, alright. Just there's a refresher. Alpha Wolf level 7. Um, strength 23, dex 19, con 21. They don't skimp on the stats, do they? <laughs> and there's two of them. So let's see if we can demoralize them both and get our outflank. I don't want to get hit. But <laughs> Come on, Harem. Stick him with some holes. What's their AC? 24, see? I mean, that's tough to, to hit. Especially for him with his three quarters bab. Just skin some wolves, which takes zero seconds. And we're going to grab this other shard. There we go. That's our two shards from this map. And we're going to run back quickly. I mean, this map kind of hinges on large numbers of enemies in big groups. The end draws near. The end draws near. Don't do that. Do that. Who got that, Valerie? Buffing too fast for my own good. Is there trouble? Is there trouble? Adventures called to them. I'm never wrong. Come on, Wolfies. What up? I'm listening. Come on. Let us strike as one. <laughs> Tripped or dead? Tripped. That's fine. Okay. Biggins. There's only one alpha here. You deserved it. Hit. Unfortunately, poor old Leopard is going to get like one, two, three, maybe four attacks of opportunity. Do not falter. What a waste. Oh, so wolves and a couple of wargs. One. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Look at all that. <laughs> How much damage did it take? A bit. Nothing too bad. Take down the warg. This will hurt. See about debuffing. And actually, let's actually see about hitting a little bit. Thank you. Stay behind me. Thanks, Lindsay. Wishes. 
Valerie tripped. That's okay. This is where I step in. Let us strike as one. You offend me. There we go. Thank you, crew. Time to do a bit of skinning. There we go. So you see that they they wrap around. And that's okay. You know, we can take the hits. Even the trips aren't uh, aren't catastrophic. I'll share my path. But over here, we're gonna have some more bears. Bears? Ah, whoops. Right. Do not falter. Same as before, crew. Yeah. You thought you'd seen the last of the bears. Let's just have a little look. Yeah, level five. High strength. Yeah. Basically, quite a lot more HP, and they're getting they're getting a lot of attacks. So. Thank you. Bring it. Repent. You deserved it. Your turn is over. Onwards. And the last one. Farewell, bear. So we can just come up here. I don't think there's anything else. To fight, but we do get some various valuable gems. I think there might be wolves over here. This is my time to shine. Right. <sighs> How long have we got? Not long. I've been taught if someone annoys you, you either pray or polish your armor. I am to my make armor my gleams end. as it does. Are you? Fewer than elsewhere. Stay behind me. Strike. <laughs> Tear them apart. Where are you going? They go down. Thank you for what the aura. Waste. No, 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 no. Okay. Taking a few hits. We come as dust. Away, you rascal. Don't hold back. Dead. Let us strike as one. Dead. It's one of the things about damage. It it comes in bursts. Like it's <laughs> even though like averaged out over time. Yeah, you know, the damage you take, you know is dependent on random dice and so you know you'd average it out for an average amount of damage you take but in reality because it's happening on a on a very local level you know damage has a tendency to hit you in a big burst as multiple enemies manage to hit like the 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 classic you know two three crits in a row on you now it's unlikely but that's that's the worst that can happen, and it will happen. So, now we get a tough, tough fight here. Yeah, the previous fights were filler. This is the this is the tough fight on this map. Except there's an area down here that we will not be visiting <laughs> because it's too tough, and there's a cave here that we will not be going in because that also is too tough. There's there's nasty stuff in there that. Uh, I would highly advise you not to um, pay a visit to until you're a much higher level. And hopefully when I get on to those in, in the game, we'll see I'm listening. quite how horrid that stuff is. Friendship lasts forever. Friendship lasts forever. How much longer we got? Yeah, that's enough. I'll take care of it. Let's just... Cast a few more things. Sorry. Guys, always lost in thought. So, let's take a different approach. Gonna smash. 
Well, the end draws near. The whole crew. This spells oh, purpose is different. Let me down. Let me down. A simple smile goes a long way. Gonna you offend me. Gonna shoot. Me gonna sing. We should move. We're gonna shoot. This will hurt. Yes, I'm still here. Might as well use the I bone shaker. And hopefully, this will all backfire. No, that's what we need. Okay, so that was the hodag. One down, level eight. This is the ferocious hodag, who... <laughs> so that's 23 strength, that's 19 strength. Higher con, higher dex. You know, they're not stupid either. It's got intelligence, 11. So, yeah, we really want to kill that one. Thank you for your song, Lindsay. And we'll also debuff your it. Time is over. You and bring Harem won. up, actually, because because Archon's aura will kick in. Hopefully they will. There we go. A little bit more. There. And it's almost dead anyway. Shall we see about a bit of bone shaker? This animation is ridiculous. <laughs> I always think it looks completely out of out of place. Onwards. Training pays off. It does indeed. So let's just have a little look. And Alka, I think I've mentioned how they do a decent job of like foreshadowing. Like, you know, if you've got bones outside somewhere that says into the cave. You know, you've got half a body here, you've got armor, you've got big beasts, you've got skulls. No thanks. Let's head over here where it's nice. Oops. Here I am. See. No luck with those law nature checks. Uh -huh. there's, there's something down here as well. There we go. Dog tag. It's a little bit of extra gold. And there's tassel worms. More tassel worms. The incredibly rare tassel worms in large quantities. That is not a bad for, not a good I'm formation. So I should say. My skills are absolute. Last wishes. Harem, you're trapped. Trapped for all time. There's a lot of them, basically. <laughs> Away, you rascal! This is where I step in. What are you all doing there, folks? Yeah, let's actually Stay attack. Charge in. Heart. See what you can get through now, big boy. Missing out on our outflank bonuses, but um, that's okay. Debuffed. Shouldn't actually take much effort. Oh, a Mary, no. Well, that's a slight mistake, but yeah. Pathing really showed me up. I really dislike this area because of all these bushes everywhere. You know, the first time I played this bit, you know, way back in the day, there was a there's a bit down here. You can come, you sort of come down here, and there's an item, and you come, you're like, oh, I'll just wander here, and you anger the wolves, and you're stuck in this bush. You know, it was a a party wipe. Not through, you know, not because it couldn't be done, because I had a very similar setup to this, but, you know, just trapped in the scenery, which I guess is kind of fitting. <laughs> so, give us a song, Lindsay. Give us a song, Lindsay. See whether you can disarm that. It's a cool item in here, which we want. It's just not my lucky day. Fortunately... That's the trap she's messed up. Else? Um, 
Yeah, so um, rather rather than a lock, in which case we'd have had to go get Octavia to do it. <laughs> so half plate, half plate plus two. We can stick this here for an extra plus one. We could have given it uh, Harem, who's on um, half plate plus one. We can swap around there. It's going to make zero difference. And so they're even got the same weight. And so we might as well, you know, swap out the um, the half plate plus one because it's worth slightly more money. So we can sell that. The well, the difference is I should should say is that the half plate plus one has a max dexterity bonus of zero, and the full plate has a max dexterity bonus of uh, one, and they've got uh, um, a a slightly different arcane spell failure chance, um, which is enormous anyway. Uh, but but since Harim has got Harim Harim has got um, terrible dexterity anyway, it's irrelevant. Dog tags and our buffs are all wearing off. We're going to come down here. So we've cleared this, except over here there's an item down here I probably should have got earlier. But there's only two more bits of combat. One lot of wolves. I'll share my How are you doing for blur? A few. Okay. Let's recast what we've got. Which is not much. Lindsay the Give the order. It's time to act. Lindsay the illustrious. Mm, something more simple. Oh. Lindsay the great. Mm. Lindsay. Lindsay. One shouldn't brag about a big sword if they can't carry one. People say it was better before I. They all start talking at the same time about big swords. And Harem just saying, you know, the trash he always says. Done with waiting. No time for idling. Big Amiru, please. Oh, here we go. You're but a footnote in our story. Do not falter. We let's see. Demoralize. Demoralize. Give us a song. Circle in over here. Not that close though. Arkansora up. Nice burst damage. Flat footed, prone. Everything that could go wrong is wrong there. Is it dead? Yeah, alright. Let's reassess on the fly. We're just gonna attempt to um to CC them. Valerie there, Harem back, Amiri back, because this Stay behind me. Song up, please. Two seconds. <laughs> that is a lot of wolves. Tear them apart. <laughs> At least they've all been awed. That's our our sneak attack kicking in there. It's very nice. But see whether you can actually take out some of the lesser ones without being tripped. Ah, uh, there's so many of them. Do not falter. How long we got on that? Right. Okay. Because we don't want Harem to get... No, there he has. What a waste. Onward. Hey. Become as dust. It's up to you, buddy. See whether you can hold the line. That would be really appreciated, Lindsay. Run. Run. Tripped. Webbed. Everyone's webs. Bring it. Does that include you, Valerie? Also webs. <laughs> Let us strike it Tear them apart. Okay. How many you tripped? That's fine. Okay. 
More webs, please. Rest in peace, buddy. They go down. Could be worse. Will be. Definitely will be. Rage. I'll just position this a little bit better. There. It. Webbed. Right. What else we got in the bag? Running out of tools. If you can just stay alive a tiny length of time there, buddy. We'll be fine. Repent. Do not falter. <laughs> so fragile. Sorry, Harry, my color sprayed you. <laughs> He's almost dead. Um, but they are blinded. Are you attack? Yeah, that's a pain. Stay behind me. Right. See whether we can repeat our you color spray. Run. Any last wishes? Oh, it's hard to know what to do. Let us strike as one. At least we'll get the outflank. No, no, no. As we try in vain to aim cones in real time with pause, probably one of the hardest things to do. Strike. What a waste. Color spray. Okay. One if we can take down these two. We'll be fine. Onwards. And we can. All right. Stay behind me. Tear them apart. You offend me. Don't hold back. Become as dust. <sighs> All right, that was a little bit embarrassing because uh, I had hoped <laughs> for a better showing there. But um, they, right. Don't hesitate. Take off your gear and try and get out of there. I'm listening. Fortunately, that was the last really tough fight. The dangers don't frighten me. Come on, kitty. The end draws near. The end draws near. Magritium Turinos. Magritium Turinos. I am your shield. Come on, Valerie. This is my time to shine. Because the last, the last fight, the cat can. It looks like it's going to be hard because it's a group of bandits and they're all sort of ready. But a cat can actually solo them down, um, believe it or not. Adventures are exciting. Adventures are exciting. Come on, kick out. Hey. Thank you. So this is one of the main reasons for coming here. We get this Cloak of the Winter Wolf, not a Cloak of Resistance, so no resistance benefit from this cloak. However, it means that when you do a bite attack, you get a free trip attack and you get extra extra damage as well. And we have somebody who does bite attacks when she's raged. As you order. Here we go. 
So it will mean that when she tries to bite someone, she will also try and trip them. Let's see whether we can just take these down easily. <laughs> and I will try and demonstrate our... Oh no, she can't because she's fatigued. Oh well, eight seconds. How much longer have we got? <laughs> well, we're not going to be demonstrating a bite attack if we do that. <laughs> All right, see what you can do. Uh, might just <laughs> no, wasn't to be. Anyway, that's that's the clear of all the of all the enemies except down here and in the cave. Uh, I'll show you the the one in the, the southwest, but um. It's not really any point in picking these up, but, you know, I will do anyway. We're going to get another really good item here. This is an arcane protector. This is a dagger that gives a plus three dodge bonus to AC. And I think, as I mentioned, dodge bonuses uh, stack up. So you can you can get a free three AC through that. It's, um, if you're only concerned with uh, not getting hit... Ah, put your armor back on because we need to take that off to get the webs. So, um, you know, a, a pretty average 30, up to 33 if you're willing to, to use a dagger. Or, you know, obviously if you're a dual wielder, you can, um, you can get the benefit of, of a minor shield bonus. Well, it's, it's not a shield bonus, but you can get a benefit equivalent to having a a, you know, a small shield or a, a medium shield. A shield. <laughs> but it's a dodge bonus, so it stacks with other stuff. Ah, Lindsay, you messed up. We'll have to come back. Dog tags. There's an item down here, I believe. Is it locked? I wrote it like I saw it. I wrote it like I saw it. I failed. I'm sorry. What did you roll? Tell us a four. Yes. Fortunately, we will be coming back to this to this site to clear up some of these tougher encounters. So. Um, when we've gained a couple more levels. Where are you going, cat? Thank you. How cute. Skirt all those webs. So it's here. It doesn't tell you what the difficulty is, but it's difficult, basically. <laughs> so, you know, your first warning that there's something nasty up on this hill is the fact that, you know, unless you're very lucky, you know, your first couple of tries at doing that athletics check may well result in failure. And if that wasn't a chance, I'd, I'd go up and, and show what was up there. But um, unfortunately, I don't really want to burn through a load of health. Um, in case we're ambushed on the way back. A gentle voice and kind words will help me win their hearts. Uh, and no, if no, that no. fails, I'll use my sharp nails instead. Kitty trapped in the web. Get everyone else around. See whether you can grab that for me. Oops. Dog tags. From the Talden Legions. Right. Back up here, and then I'm going to end the video. Because I think it's quite nice to, to clear this whole area. Some fights that were tough, we managed to do no problem. Some fights which were supposedly less tough <laughs> um, had me in a, you know, not panic mode, but sort of battle mode, scrounging through what we had to uh, ensure that that wasn't a reload, because reloading sucks. 
Right, here we go. It's just eggs. Eggs and potion of heroism. It's quite a nice potion to get since uh, that's at cast level 10. So, you know, that's an extra heroism for 50 whole minutes. I think that's everything. We couldn't open this one. We couldn't open this one. And... Ah, forgot something. But, um... No matter. Oh, no, it was just camping supplies I didn't pick up. Uh, we're medium encumbered. That'll do. Since at this point, time is not an enormous issue. So, I'm going to end the video now, and I'll see you in the next one.